We're here at Model Die this morning here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. What I wanted to show you guys was um, the surface point inspection, or inspect surface point, as it's known in the software. I've got a door panel tool that's uh, inside of this machine tool. And I'm actually doing my measurement inside of here. Uh, previously, I've done an alignment to the CAD model using surface points and using the iterative alignment uh, and measuring it to their zero corner. So I'm measuring it the way that their machine is actually cutting it. And I've actually done a leapfrog from this position to over here so that I can get some of the content over in this area. But what I want to show you guys in this module is super powerful in the software. It's the, uh, the points that we're inspecting to the CAD model. Um, so what I'd like to do is you have to be in the CAD model alignment to, to, uh, to get into this. So now that I'm there, what I'll do is I'll go right into the SAT file and I'll go measure point third from the bottom called inspect surface. All right, so what inspect surface does is it assumes I've got a CAD model out there. I've got surface data in that CAD model and I can just start measuring to that surface model. There's gonna be two ways we'll do that and I'll show you both. Right now what I'm doing is I'm defaulting to Faro actually picking the surface for me. So what it's doing now is I know where the probe is based on the alignment of the part to my measured features here. What I can do then is once I take the arm, you'll see my probe kind of moving around in some positions on the screen as well. But when I get close into a surface patch that it recognizes in the data file, it's gonna turn that surface red. So I'll just come up here, I'll slowly touch off on that surface. And you'll notice that in my model, that surface is turning red. So that surface, Pharaoh is assuming that I wanna to measure to. So for this example, I'd say, yeah, that makes total sense. I'm gonna pepper this top with some surface points or with some of these inspect surface points. And then I'm gonna uh, check them to the CAD model. So I will take one point right here as an example green button, just one hit. What it's doing is it's actually reading the vector of the surface from the model. So I'm not forming a vector, I'm not assuming a vector, it's coming directly from the CAD model. So when I click once, and then I compensate away from my part, I never want to cross my geometry here, so I come away from the part and I compensate. So what it's done now is it's actually gone out, it's found a surface patch, it's named that surface patch, and then it's named the point for me. So I'll go back to the SAT file a second. And I might want to give that a name. Maybe that's a trim edge or a, a trim a bezel or whatever the part is actually uh, actually named up in that, that area. I would give that a name in my SAT file. Um, I'm not quite sure what they named that point. If I had a drawing that had some criteria on it, there might be a description on the drawing. But I'm just going to call that inspect surface point one. Okay, and you'll notice on my SAT file here, what I've got is a deviation along the X, the Y, and the Z, and then the distance criteria. <clears throat> With this measurement here, what I like is that the, uh, the distance is actually the 3D distance um, along the vector of the surface, uh, but, the, but the, uh, the surface itself truly is square to the grid. I kind of like that. So you'll see that the distance and the Z component are identical. So I like that. That's a pretty tight criteria. They're 9 tenths, so I'm better than a thou and I've done a leapfrog which added six tenths and I've got a calibration error of about a half a thou. So pretty doggone nice tool is what I'm thinking there. They're better than a thousandth of an inch away from where their nominal CAD data is. What I usually do with this situation though too is I'll go right to the tolerances tab and I'll just say, let's get rid of the X, the Y, and the Z component here and just show me the 3D length along the vector that it reads from the surface in that area. And I can change my tolerance to say, you know, I want that to be plus or minus, I'll just say 10 thou right here as my tolerance band. And then I'll do a save to preferences. So now every surface point that I take, it will have the same tolerance along the length component. So save to preferences, go back to the report to show it and you'll see in my file here, 9 tenths is the measured, it wants to be zero. Here's my plus or minus 10 thou. I'll say okay to that, that looks pretty sweet. Now I'm gonna be looking at another surface in there, and actually I'll zoom in 
just to show you a little bit closer what the uh, surface patch is doing here. I'll go into this corner where there's a little bit of an edge and then go back to the arm here. And notice when I come into that surface, that will start to highlight red. That surface patch is red there, so I'll say click right about there, front button, and then I compensate away. And notice what it does, and it takes the same exact criteria in the distance component, and it applies that plus or minus 10 thou, and it says I am only four tenths of a thou deviation from my surface. I do like that. Okay, I call that inspect surface point two then. And I could go through and just start naming all these points just like that. But again, what I'm doing here is I'm allowing Faro to pick the surface that I'm measuring too. If you've got so much detail in there, like when I start to get into the, the upstanding flange inside here, maybe I don't want Faro to pick that. Or if I'm measuring on a sheet metal part, and maybe there's some, some um, deviation in the sheet metal, I might be picking up on the back side of the material, or even on plastic, I might be picking up on some warped wrong side of the material. So we've got the ability to choose the surface to pick as well. And I'll show you that now here a second too. So I will escape out of this, and then I'm gonna go right to my preferences tab. Okay, preferences icon here. Right down here, this thing called auto nominal association. That says Faro Picket, or that says me pick it. So I'm gonna um, uncheck that box there, and it's not automatically associating any surface. Now it's totally up to me to pick it from the model. So I'll say okay to that. And then I'll go back up to this measure, point, inspect surface. Now notice at the bottom left hand of my screen, it's saying okay, you pick the surface then. So you select the surface. Okay, I do like that. So let me say, how about this top surface here? Or this radius surface, radii surface. How about that one? Either that face or it sees the bottom face there. Well, I like that surface there. So I'll pick on him. And now it's saying, okay, go ahead and measure that point. So I'll take my arm and I'll come into that surface and I'll just take a point. Green button, red button. So as quick as I take that point there and compensate it, the SAT file finds the vector from the surface and it says the distance that you're away is about two and a half thou. Okay, I like that. So again, comparing it to the nominal CAD, which is zero, perfect. And then I've got a plus or minus 10 thou as a tolerance. So I can change that then to the inspect surface point three. And again, I can just start peppering this thing with those inspect surface points. Or if you wanted to, you can go through and just measure all the surface points first, inspect surface points, and then go into your model and rename them. And if you have to go pick the surface because there's so much warp in your part, or you're picking up on the wrong side of material, whether it be plastic or a piece of sheet metal, uh, don't let Faro pick the surface. Go right ahead and go into the preferences and then deselect that uh, auto nominal association. But very, very powerful part of the tool uh, of the software. So if you can pull your own CAD model in, do an alignment to it, and then just start banging out some surface points, some inspect surface points, very, very powerful. And that correlates also to a profile of surface GD and T callout. So if you do get into that, make sure you go to the, uh, the GD and T part of the modules here as well, and take a look at how profile of surface is actually uh, um, correlated to what we're doing here today. So go have some fun with that, because it is a very powerful part of the tool.